we're just a few days away from your 2024 and in this video i'm predicting not only the group stages but the whole tournament also i'll give you not one not two but 10 brutal bets with super high value stay until the end because there will be some pretty unexpected results in this tournament let's start with group a straight off the bat i'm telling that germany will take all three games without too much trouble they're an extremely powerful team and have some of the most exciting young players like Musiala and Florian Wirtz playing there. And at the same time, they have veterans like Tony Cruz and Thomas Müller, who are world champions and serial winners. The remaining three teams are of a similar caliber, but my order in this group is Germany, Switzerland, Hungary, Scotland. And here, I'm betting on Scotland to drop out of the group stage at 2.0 odds. In the second group, we have three top teams, Spain, Italy, Croatia, and the total outsider Albania. I'm starting from back to front and putting Albania in fourth place. They just don't have the class to match the rest of the teams in the group and I don't see them making anything more than a surprise draw. In third place, I'm putting Croatia. Despite the experience they have from the last few major championships, most of their good players are quite old and I don't think that they'll have the strength for anything more interesting this time. The top seed in this group will be Spain. I leave the second place for literally and here my prediction is Albania to have under 1.5 goals in the tournament at 1.8 rebounds. In Group C, we have the biggest favorites according to the bookmakers, England. Whether Southgate's boys will lift the Euro trophy for the first time in their history, we'll find out in about a month. What I'm sure of, however, is that in the group stage, the English will surely finish first, and I don't think that there's any need for detailed arguments. More interesting will be the clash for second place, which will be decided between Serbia and Denmark. In my opinion, the Red Dynamite will clutch the second place because they have more experience and chemistry compared to the Serbs. And the last place is left to the over Balkan nation in group, Slovenia. And here, my bet is for them to be last in the group at 1.72 odds. Let's move to group D, a group of death according to many people, including me. Here, we have two of the favorites to win the tournament, France and the Netherlands. Austria, under Ralf Ragnick, have been playing incredible football, picking up wins against Turkey and Germany in their last friendlies. And the Poles, led by Lewandowski, are always ready to spring the surprise. But I don't think that they'll prevail this time, and I put them last in the group. Here, I see potential for all the three remaining teams to finish with six points each, as the direct matches and the goal difference will determine the positions. My opinion is that the Dutch will be first, France second, and Austria third. After the group of death, ironically or not, we move on to arguably the weakest group in the championship. I put Belgium first without giving it much though. I don't want to overestimate them after their debacle in Qatar two years ago, but I doubt they'll suck so brutally in a second major form. Ukraine made it to the Euros by 2 them nail after being in group with England and Italy. I think the second place is for them. I see Romania third and Slovakia last. The last group is Portugal, Czech Republic, Turkey and Georgia. Portugal is the clear favorite here and I wouldn't be surprised to see them reach the quarter or semi-final. I don't think Georgia had much of a chance in this tournament, especially as they got to the groups themselves by a huge stroke of luck. So I'm leaving them in fourth place. I put the Czechs in second place, who have three players in Bayer Leverkusen who are in top form and got used to winning. And third position remains for third. As you probably know, the top four third place teams from the groups qualify for the tournament's round of 16, and the other two can go on an early vacation. The standings here also matter for the matches in the round of 16. I've already given plenty of reasoning for how I think the nations will perform in the group stage, so I'm putting Austria first, then Croatia, Serbia third, and the last ticket to the next round is left for Turkey, with the Hungarians and Romanians leaving Germany in June. Now we go to a knockout stage of the tournament, and the first game is Germany and Denmark. I'm of the opinion that the hosts will use the momentum gained from the games in the groups and send the Danish dynamite home. My first bigger surprise is Switzerland to win against Italy, and if you remember, the last Euros, it was at this stage of the tournament when Switzerland eliminated the then world champions France. The Italians are super unpredictable, but they are definitely far from the team that grabbed the last Euro. The third game in the round of 16 will put Spain against Turkey. Two young and kite teams up for something big. Considering how many Turks live in Germany and are supporting their home country in the stadiums, I expect an even match, but Spain are still the more sensible choice on paper. And one of the best players in the world, Robbery, is in the squad. The next match is expected to be quite interesting. England versus Austria. I'm expecting attacking football from both sides, spectacular plays and a memorable match. I don't rule out the surprise in any case, but the individual class of the English pairs will be crucial for them to move forward. In the fifth game in the round of 16, we'll see a super even clash, Portugal-Croatia. So the captains of both teams and former teammates in Real Madrid, Cristiano Ronaldo and Luka Modric, this is probably the last big tournament and they'll definitely give their all. However, the team from the Iberian Peninsula is more balanced and I expect them to win. So I'm betting on Luka Modric to have over 0.5 assists in this tournament 
at 1.66 odds. This game might be the most boring and uninteresting because France takes Ukraine. David versus Goliath. And here, unless you see some Christmas miracle in the summer, I'm predicting this one for France and my bet is Kylian Mbappe to score over 3.5 goals in the tournament at 1.66 odds. It's time for my second surprise. Belgium versus Serbia. I'm expecting a high-scoring match in which the Balkan team will be able to take out Belgium, who missed their chances of a major trophy at national level. Their golden generation is already aged and far from the best years, and this is the perfect moment for the Serbs to shine. Still, I think the Belgians will score quite a few goals in the tournament, and my bet is that their top goal scorer will be Lukaku at 1.9 odds. The last match of this round will be Netherlands versus Czech Republic. They're meeting three years after the Czechs punished the Tulips in Budapest. This time, I see no room for a surprise, and I expect the win for the Netherlands. Now, we move on to the quarterfinals, where we'll be watching some spectacular matches. The first one is Germany against Spain. In case I haven't made it clear, I'm expecting a very strong performance from the home team in this big form. Not only because they're playing in front of their own crowd, but also because of the overall aura of the Germans. Spain are rebuilding their core and the team seems to be too inexperienced to make it to the same finals. The next breathtaking clash is Portugal versus France. I hinted earlier that I have high expectations for the Portuguese as well, but I'm not convinced that their strength will be enough to beat France. I'm expecting an even battle, but maybe France will prevail by one goal. The third quarterfinal is Serbia against the Netherlands. The Serbians may have the potential for surprises, especially with a striker of the class of Alexander Mitrovic, who I'm betting to score over 1.5 goals of the, in the tournament at odds of 2.2. But I cannot see them beating the Netherlands. The Dutch have players in every position who are playing in the most elite teams all over Europe and will have no problem with Serbia. The last quarterfinal is England, Switzerland. Again, I'm on the side of the favorites in the face of England. Here, I'll give you one more bet and it's over 1.5 assists for Jude Bellingham in the tournament at 2.75 slots. And I think it is the Real Madrid star who will play a major role in the English victory in this match. We finally have reached the semi-finals. I'm convinced that we'll see one of the games of the year. The whole Germany against the former world champions France led by Kylian Mbappe. My instincts are telling me that the crowd will take into the 12 players who will the German team send France home days before the final. Nonetheless, I don't think that the other semi final will be any less interesting. Netherlands versus England. I'm not going to lie to you. The Orange are an amazing tour into the years I have had so much joy watching them. Their young sir, Xavi Simons, is in top form and is very likely to be one of the stars of the European Championship. So, I'm playing my ninth bet for this video, and that's Xavi Simons becoming young player of the tournament at 11 odds with low stake. However, I predict the English to qualify for a second consecutive Euro final. And now it's time for the big game, the final, Germany versus England. Who will prevail? The hosts or the favorites? The Germans have great traditions at major championships and a pretty good success rate against England. How that, that Gareth Southgate finally has to be fired from his position as England coach. So many stars and at the same time, so many failures. Again, I side with Germany simply because I have a feeling this tournament will be theirs. But let me tell you my last bet, and that's Harry Kane to be the top scorer of the tournament at 6.5 odds. Thanks for watching this video, share with a friend, and expect something very, very big really soon.